Hi everyone, this is Miss Miharo, and I'm back with what I've missed in my other two parts, which was the most obvious thing. Uh, <laughs> Paris, Paris, let's put you in the corner, I think that's easier. I picked Goro as a sort of uh, training dummy, because he has multi-armor stuff, which won't be broken by a back 1EX choke. Uh, but, you do have your parry. Boom. Um, these parries, um, they're not super great on, uh, like, they're great on a read. And I guess some characters, like, if you knock a Sub-Zero down and you're feeling that they're getting desperate, uh, you can whiff a parry from here and you're safe. Uh, they can't really do much about it. So if they wake up with Slide, you punish them, uh, and if they don't, uh... You just whiff a parry, you build some meter, and you're still like in this range, which is still good. Um, other than that, uh, usually slides are not, aren't worth parrying, uh, I find, uh, because uh, they're all really negative, so you can get a harder punish out of it. But sometimes, just for the mind games, just to remind them that no, you can't wake up. This is <laughs> it's not your turn. Uh, it's really good. I like sub series slide. Uh, over here, you don't want to get reversaled uh, into the corner, so pairing them is really good. Sort of make, make them waste the bar, make them think think twice about throwing it out, so then you can go in for your corner pressure, and they won't uh, risk a slide and put you in the corner. So it's all about mind games. Um, and the standard parry, it's really good as well. Of course, against Goro. Uh, but also against uh, other characters like Jax love their dash punches from sort of this range. Uh, Johnny love their uh, glow kicks. Uh, so you can sort of uh, make a read on those. Uh, you can also neutral duck, but Jax is like tricky because if you neutral duck and you read a um, what's it called a dash punch, uh, they're gonna go for the overhead dash punch and get a full combo. And if you <laughs> if you read and stand block and want to go for the full combo punish on the uh, on the overhead dash punch uh, you're gonna eat like an armored normal dash punch which is safe on block and then they can sort of start their pressure which is not something you want so versus jacks I like whiffing it you can get punished for it if they sort of get up and run in and just hit the, the last frames of your recovery but uh, that's sort of uh, it's not gonna happen every time I'm just gonna say that so yeah, parries are, are useful, and it's also, like, it's really useful to uh, remember to use them, just the threat of them. So maybe I knock Goro down, and I stand over here, and I do the parry, and he doesn't wake, wake up with punch work, but next time he's gonna be like, oh shit, uh, is the Kano player gonna parry now? Um, should I really wake up with punch work? And then you're sort of in their head, and you can apply your uh, post-knockdown pressure. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's sort of what I wanted to show. Maybe this didn't need a full video, but you know, for for the purpose of like showing stuff, it's important to know though that some wake ups uh, put opponents airborne, uh, like um, Liu Kang's flying kick, uh, Kung Jin's fly kick, uh, and so on. Those can't be parried, and they're sort of iffy to. Uh, to hit out of with your back one ex command grab so those wake ups you gotta be careful with i'm just saying um but against grounded wake ups parries are really really good a really good option and you can sort of uh, you can use them to punish stuff that is really hard to punish otherwise uh like uh, cassie's um, ex nut punch is really hard to break uh since it has invisibility frames uh, invincibility frames, <laughs> Jesus. Um, but you can parry it, so 
that way you can punish it without having to go for armor break. And this is meterless as well, so getting meterless 17% and the extra mind game that comes from it and you make them spend a bar, uh, that's actually quite useful. I don't like using the parry uh, in the corner, as you can see, because it puts you in like a weird spot where you're in the corner and if you jump over, uh, let's put you on let's do it this way um, and then take you off wake up put your auto block like from here I have to make a read and I can't jump out I I always want to jump out and do like a, a jump out kick maybe it will work with uh, jump out three I should try that but like um, I really want to get out of the corner. I don't want to be put in the corner for just 70%. So, uh, I mean, you can make a read and try to meaty uh, back throw, but that's kind of risky because if you whiff it, then they get up and punish you. You can jump out, but they can punish that. So it's it's not the best in the corner. I prefer using it mid-screen where positioning matters less. So that's something to, to think about as well. Like. Where am I on the screen? Is it worth using the parry or should I go for a back one EX choke? But like there's nothing as demoralizing as doing a parry on their metered wake up. Uh, you eat no damage and you steal their bar and deal 17% into a potential like OK situation. And if you're in the corner, uh, this is... Um, like if you read, if you're in the corner and you make a read with the parry, uh, then you get put out of the corner, which is really nice. But I'll go with that when I come to wake ups. So yeah, that's it for. I'm sorry for all the rambling. Uh, that's it for the Oki. This is part three. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.